Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm doing a quick, um, very, very quick um, instructional video on how to change the rear pads on a 2018 plus BMW X1. Um, I was uh, asked to do this and I didn't know that this was a little bit more complicated because this one has the electronic parking brake. I already did the other side, which has the um, wear sensor. These vehicles, I think 2002 and up, come with a sensor rather than the actual um, metal on the pads. Um, and the sensor actually goes in here and then it wears, when it wears out with the rotor, I guess it breaks the contact inside and it makes it, um, it gives a, light, a warning light on the dash. So very straightforward. Um, once you do it once, you figure it out. So once you take off the caliper by removing these two plastic caps here, it has a plastic cap here, you remove this. There is an Allen um, bolt in there and the one on the bottom as well. You remove these. I usually keep them in the same order. Did I take them off? You remove these two. And then um, you take off this clip with a screwdriver. You pretty much pry it all off before removing the screws. Uh, loosen the screws, you pry off this metal clip. This is what keeps it in place. Then you remove the screws and then you pull this back. So back. So the first thing you do is you remove the clip. You pry it and then you pull it out. Careful, because if you do it wrong, it'll swing out and it'll hit you in the face. Um, then you loosen the screws. These are two Allen, and I believe these. Is this a seven, seven millimeter? See right there, seven. Once you remove these two screws, you pull them out. You pull the caliper out carefully. Always when you're filming. So once you remove the caliper. It's gonna have the electric motor, which is right here. You unplug this, and then this has two Allen screws, which is one right here, and another one on the other side, which I'll show you when I take it off. Because what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to rotate the the e-brake, the electronic parking brake actuator, clockwise. In some of these, the previous models, it's actually, you you know, um, you can use one of those Torx bits, but on this one, the bit is sticking out, which is something that I didn't find anywhere on, on YouTube. So, I'm going to take this off, and then I'll show you real quick. Okay, so I'm going to re remove the clip. I'm going to try to do it in filming without getting myself hit. So, what I did was, I used this little breaker bar and I just pushed it gently like this and it came out then you can just pull it out and that takes care of that go. now we're going to remove these screws and then pull the caliper out remember before removing the screws to take off this plastic cap that's in there pull this out pop it you could do it with your fingers this is flexible with your fingers or you do a screwdriver flat blade and push it out then you take your seven millimeter allen and then this is the left side which is the driver's side which is clockwise Once you loosen the screws and you pull them back, you can pull them back with a screwdriver, like that. So I would recommend removing the electronic parking brake plug. This little tab here, you push it down, and then you push the plug back, and it should come off there you go and then it's held here and this little bracket just just pull it out of the way because you don't want this to get in your way pull out the glove. 
also when you pull the parking brake. When you pull the caliper off, pull that out of the way, and then just, just get it out of the way. That way you have this all clear and you can just bring the caliper back, which, let's see. See how it moves? It's kind of hard to film in, but here we go. Oh, and then just carefully, don't just drop it, just carefully set it down somewhere where it's not going to be hanging by the uh, hose. Let me uh, move the tire and put down the camera for a minute. So now to remove the actual parking brake actuator because you have to reset it. You could do it with the scan tool if you have a scan tool for these cars um, and if you don't just for the backyard mechanic you could just you know take the motor out and then turn the actuator clockwise and that should set it back so i'm going to just flip it a little bit to show you guys what those two screws are those are the screws right there this is one I don't know if you this is one and then the other one is right there this one right there see it that's allen and then i'm going to pull those out and then you just gently pry out the motor Right here, while the caliper's on. And I just, what I do is I take off the um, I take off the ratchet because once these screws break loose, they just tend to they just tend to come out by hand. So that's one. Interestingly enough, there's not a, there's not a lot of information on 2018 model X1s, at least videos. So now we're gonna like pretty much wiggle this actuator out. I'll try to get that on film. All right, guys. So I'm trying to do. It's kind of hard to do this while filming, but as you can see, it's coming off. If, if it gives you a little bit of resistance, what you should try to do is maybe pry a little, pry a flat blade screwdriver, you carefully, um, and push it out of the way. Let's see. You know, it takes a little bit of finagling, but once it comes out, there it is. Because you had that seal that's, that's in there, that O-ring, and it seals it in there, so this is it, so. On all the models, you went in here and you spun that wheel, that's the motor. But that's not the part that goes in and out. The part that goes in and out is actually this one right here. And what you need to do is you need to turn that clockwise to make sure, what you need to do is you need to make sure to turn that clockwise to make sure that it's in. Let's see. Okay, so here I have my ratchet, and as you can see, it's turning. You have to turn it until it comes to a stop. There it is. I use a wrench. There it is. It doesn't. It doesn't go anymore. Okay. So now you want to put your actuator motor back on and um, resume reassembly. Please note that. This goes in only one way. Make sure that when you put it in, it's gonna give you, it's gonna have a bit a bit of resistance because it's trying to land on the gear, match up with made up with the gear, 
and then you have that o-ring right here that is also um seals seals the internal and it, it has it has a little bit of grease there as well so make sure that when you do it you might have to like twist it a little bit and use both hands not like me that i'm using one hand we'll get the job done you can see it went in notice how it's like misaligned focus notice how it's misaligned so all you have to do then is just like bring it into place and there you go and then put the screws back on tighten them remove the old pads and put the new pads and reassemble let's do that always the one in the back now for the one in the back make sure you get it in there straight you don't want to cross thread there we go focus on there yeah. tighten it in tighten it up Make sure you tighten those to uh, the right torque specs. You don't want to strip them. Now we're going to remove the old pads, put in the new pads, and we're going to push in the uh, piston. Wow, they need a changing. This is the outer. So the outer is held in by the clip and the caliper and then the inner actually slides out and you, you can't mistake them because the inners have a spring. These pads probably could have gone, I guess what, another couple of hundred miles, I don't know. Let's see, let's get this out. There we go. This is the new, it's the old, oops. Okay, so here we go. They could have, I don't know, a couple of, see where the shim is. I guess one, ah, this had a couple of, but because the, the owner was annoyed by the light, by the warning sensor on the dash, we're afraid that we're gonna get stranded somewhere. Go. Make sure that these are in there nice and snug. Now we're going to push the uh, piston in. You can push these in using a normal uh, rear caliper tool and you push the piston in the same way you would push any piston on any caliper. Just go gently, make sure everything's going in nice and smoothly. Watch not to break the actual. And you guys get the picture make sure you don't kink the seal when you're pushing the piston in otherwise you're gonna have a bad day don't forget to lube the bolts that hold the caliper in place put them back into the actual caliper tighten them up and you should be good to go okay make sure you tighten your bolts to the recommended torque specs once you have the bolts on as you can see this has a little play don't forget to mount your bracket They're nice and snug. It's not gonna go anywhere. And that 
last but not least, don't forget to plug in your actuator motor. One quick thing to note that this side is the, the driver's side, which is the left side. And as you can see, there's a slot right here that um, something's missing. This is where on the right side or passenger side, the wear sensor is on this vehicle. So that one is just, you would just plug it in to the harness, bring it around here and then pop it in to the caliper and, and then going in to that slot there. And that's where the sensor would be. Um, I didn't record it because that was the first set I did and it was a little bit challenging. Um, yeah, so hopefully, like I said, this is a really quick video even though it took more than five minutes. But I was filming and uh, working by myself trying to do the best I could because I couldn't find anything. But maybe this will help someone out there who's working on a 2018 plus BMW X1. I don't know why they change the systems on these compared to the other, but it's pretty much the same process. You shouldn't be overwhelmed. You shouldn't be intimidated. It's just like the regular brake charge. You just got to be careful with the lines and, you know, know what you're doing, okay? Then put your tires back up, button everything up, torque them to spec, and then see how it works for you. Um, any questions or comments, please leave them below, and I'll give back my feedback on how this uh, turned out overall. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe.